My name is Una Verdell, and I'm a special advisor at the Danish Institute for Human Rights. This video will introduce you to the question of what is a human rights-based approach to development programming. A human rights-based approach to development programming can be described as a paradigm shift from conventional approaches to development programming. For the past 50 years, development has evolved as a sector independently from the human rights sector, but we now know that the world must advance the causes of development and human rights together, otherwise none will succeed. I will now list four main differences between conventional approaches to development and a human rights-based approach to development. The first main difference is that while conventional approaches to development ground their processes and end goals in sectorial expertise, that is to say in the scientific or engineering data that pertains to their area or sector of development, a human rights-based approach to development is conceptually based on the human rights legal framework. This means that regardless of what sector of development you happen to work in, be it health, water, infrastructure, or food security, the end goal of your intervention should further the realization of human rights, and your expected outcomes should refer to human rights standards. The second main difference between a human rights-based approach and a conventional approach to development is that the process of development is guided by human rights standards and principles. This, in essence, means that again, regardless of what your development goal is, the process of development should respect human rights standards and human rights principles. The third main difference between a rights, human rights-based approach and a conventional approach to development is that in your intervention, you will necessarily focus on the structural causes of discrimination and inequalities that keep some people or groups in poverty, marginalized and excluded from development processes. You will use tools that are specific to a human rights-based approach to ensure that no one is left behind in the development process. Lastly, a major difference between a human rights-based approach to development programming and a conventional approach to development is that your work will focus on both rights holders and duty bearers, and one outcome of the development intervention will necessarily be to support the capacity of rights holders to know, claim, and obtain redress for their rights, and for duty bearers to fulfill their obligation to protect, respect, and fulfill these rights. Thank you.